Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli and today our topic is how to send automated WhatsApp message on Zoho form submission using Gala box. So here I have created a registration form by using Zoho forms and I have added that form on my website. Now as I'm going to receive a new registration from user then automatically by capturing the detail of that form submission I'm going to capture the detail and I'm going to use those details to automatically send an automated WhatsApp message by using Gala box. So for sending the message on WhatsApp, I'm using Gala Box and for my objective, I have to build a connection between Zoho Forms and Gala Box. So for building this connection, I'm going to use Pabli Connect, which is an amazing software for automation and integration. Now with Pabli Connect, as I'm going to receive a new form submission from Zoho Forms, then automatically a message will be sent on WhatsApp by using Gala Box. So how I'm going to build this connection? For that, let me take you to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen and today we are going to see that how we can sign automated WhatsApp message on Zoho form submission using Gala box. So automating WhatsApp messages on Zoho form submission using Gala box can significantly enhance customer engagement and streamline communication processes. So imagine you run a business that relies heavily on quick responses to customer inquiries or leads such as an e-commerce store, a real estate agency or a service provider. Now when a potential customer fills out a form on your Zoho powered website, an immediate response can make all the difference in capturing their interest and providing excellent customer service. So by integrating Zoho forms with Gala box to send automated WhatsApp messages, you ensure that every form submission triggers an instant and personalized WhatsApp message. So this could be a confirmation message, a thank you note or further instruction providing immediate value and reassurance to the customer. So here for example, I have created this registration form by using Zoho form and now what I want is that as I'm going to receive a new form submission from Zoho form, then automatically I want to send a personalized WhatsApp message to the user who has submitted my form. So this will not improve response time but also ensure that customer feels valued and informed promptly. So in this video, I will guide you through setting up this integration using Pabli Connect. So you can automate WhatsApp messages based on Zoho form submission and enhance your customer communication and engagement seamlessly. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a connection between Zoho Forms and Gala Box and that too without any coding and programming skills. So I'm going to build this connection with the help of Pabli Connect and Pabli Connect is an amazing software for automation and integration. Now for using Pabli Connect, I need to open a new tab and I need to search for pabli.com slash connect in my browser and this will take us to this landing page of Pabli Connect. Now here we have two options, sign in and sign up for free. If we don't have any account with Pabli Connect, then we can just click on the sign up for free button and this will take only two minutes of our time and we will get 100 tasks free every month. Or if we already have an account, we can just sign in and we will get to see this page. So these are all the apps that Pabli offers and we are going to use Pabli Connect here. For that, I need to click here on this Excel Now button under Pabli Connect and it will direct us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Now here in dashboard, what we need to do is we need to create a new workflow and for that, I'm going to click here on this create workflow button and this window will pop up. Now here I need to name my workflow. So I'm going to name it as my objective, which is to send automated WhatsApp message on Zoho form submission using Gala box. Now here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on create. And this will take us to this most important window for our workflow. Here we have two boxes, trigger and action. So these are the two main principles on which our workflow works on. And trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So trigger is going to be the first step that will get executed in our workflow and action will just follow that. So we need to first set up our trigger in our workflow and in our workflow, we can only set up single trigger step and multiple action steps. So here for setting up our trigger, what we need to do is we need to first select our trigger application. So here my trigger application is going to be Zoho Forms. So I'm going to search for that. I'm going to select Zoho Forms here. And now I need to give a trigger event. So I'm going to open this tab. A new form submitted will be my trigger event. So I'm going to select this. And here I need to connect Zoho Forms with Pabli Connect in my workflow. And for that, I need to use this Vabook URL. So this Vabook URL is going to work as a bridge between Zoho Forms and Pabli Connect. So for connecting these two applications, I need to follow all these instructions. And first I need to copy this Vabook URL. 
And now I need to log into my Zoho Form account and I need to take you there. So here in my Zoho Forms account, I have these two forms and I'm going to use this particular form of registration form. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first click on this edit button. And here I need to go to integrations. Now here in integrations, I need to scroll down and I need to open this option of Vabooks. And I need to first enable this Vabooks status. So I'm going to enable this. And now after enabling this option, I have this tab of Vabook URL. So here what I need to do is I need to first give my Vabook URL that I have copied from Public Connect. So I'm going to paste that here. And now I need to give my content type. So here I need to use this content type of application slash JSON. So this is already selected and I have selected that again. And here I need to select my parameters. So here I have already selected all these parameters that I have in my Zoho form as form fields and I've selected them as my parameter. Now all these details that I have selected as parameter will be sent to Public Connect as my form response. Now what I need to do is I need to just click on save. And here I've successfully added my Vabook in my Zoho form. Now I need to take you back to Public Connect. And here in Public Connect, we can see it is waiting for Vabook response. So how I'm going to get this Vabook response? For that, I need to make a form submission by using Zoho form. So I'm going to go back to my Zoho form and here I need to first open my form. So I'm going to click on this access form button and here this is my registration form. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill all these details here and I need to make a form submission here. So I need to first give a first name. So here my first name will be test, last name will be user, email will be testuser at the rate and now I need to give a phone number or the WhatsApp number of my user. So I'm going to type a WhatsApp number and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on submit and here I have successfully submitted my form and I have created this form submission by using Zoho form. Now I need to take you back to Public Connect and here in Public Connect we can see I have received this response. So in this response I have the phone number or the WhatsApp number of my user, I have the first name that is test, I have the last name that is user and I have the email address that is testuser at the rate pablitudes.com. Now, as I have received this form response from Zoho form, what I need to do is I need to use all these details of my form submission. I need to send a personalized message on WhatsApp to this user. So for sending the message on WhatsApp, I'm going to use Gallup box. And for that, I need to set up my actions tab. Now here in my actions tab, I need to first select my action application. And here my action application is going to be Gallup box. So I'm going to select Gallup box here. And now I need to give an action event. So I'm going to open this tab and send template text message will be my action event. So I'm going to select this and I need to connect Gala box with Public Connect in my workflow. And for that, I need to click here on this connect button. I will click on add new connection. And for connecting Gala box, I need to give a account ID, API key and the API secret. So how I'm going to get all these details for that, I need to first log into my Gala box account. And first we are going to get the account ID. So I'm going to take you to my Gala box account. And here I need to go to my profile. And in profile, I need to click on account details. Now here in account details, we have this ID. So this is my account ID. So I'm going to copy this. I will go back to public connect and I'm going to paste that here. Now I need my API key and the API secret. So how I'm going to get this detail for that? I need to first create an API key in my Gala box account. And by creating my API key, I'm going to get my API secret too. So I'm going to go back to my Gala box account. Now for getting my API key, what I need to do is I need to go to settings. And here in settings, I have this option of API keys. So I'm going to open that. And now in API keys, what I need to do is I need to add a new API key. So for that, I'm going to click on this add new button. And I need to first give a name to my key. So I'm going to name it as new messages. And now I need to give the permission. So I'm going to first click on restricted and what permission I need to select here for that. I need to go back to public connect and here in public connect, we have this instruction and in instruction, we have all the details of the permission that we need to use. So I'm going to select all these detail in Gala box. So I'm going to go back to Gala box and I'm going to select the permission that I'm going to use. So I need to select the permission of contact and I need to select the permission of manage. Similarly, I have to select the permission of conversation by clicking on manage and the message permission will also be manage. Now I'm going to scroll down 
and here I need to select the permission of channel as manage. I'm going to scroll down and I need to give the read permission of template message. So I'm going to select that and here I've given all the permission that is required for sending new message for Zoho form submission. Now I'm going to click on add API key button and here it has generated my API secret. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first copy this API secret. I will go back to public connect and I'm going to paste that API secret here. Now I need to give the API key. So I'm going to go back to Gala box. I'm going to click on dismiss and here in my, and here in my API key, it has generated this API key. So I'm going to copy this. I will go back to public connect and I'm going to paste that here in this tab. Now I have filled all the required details. So I'm going to click on save and I've connected Gala box with Pabli Connect. Now here what I need to do is, I need to first select my template that I want to use for sending the WhatsApp message on Zoho form submission. So for the template, I need to take you back to Gala box. Here I need to go to settings and in settings, I have this option of WhatsApp templates. So I'm going to open this and here I have these three basic templates. So here I'm using a test account. That's why I can't create a new template or I can use a customized template. But in your account, when you will not be using any test account, then you can customize your template according to you and you can set up any message that you want to send with buttons, headers, footers or anything that you want to customize your message with and you can create a customized template according to yourself. So as I'm using a test account, then I can only use these three basic templates. So I'm going to use this welcome basic template here. So I'm going to go back to public connect. And here for selecting my template, I need to open this tab and here I will find all the templates that I will have in my Galabox account and I'm going to use this welcome basic template. Now here as I've selected my template, my channel ID is default selected. Now here I have all these tab and I have this tab of bot ID. I'm going to leave this blank because I don't want to fill this detail. I need to fill the detail of the name, phone number and the customer name. So here I need to first give a name of the recipient. And this name is going to add as a new contact in Gallup box. So this is going to be the name that Gallup box is going to use for creating a new contact. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the name of the user who has submitted my Zoho form and I'm going to use that and I'm going to map that response here in this tab. So for that, I need to use mapping and what mapping is mapping is a technique through which I can retrieve the data from the previous steps and the data that is changing will get replaced with the new data in the real time. So for mapping, I need to click here. I will open this response of Zoho forms and here, this is the first name of my user. So I'm going to map this. I will give a space and I'm going to map the last name. Similarly, I have to give the phone number of my user. So I'm going to click here. I will open this response of Zoho forms and here, this is the phone number or the WhatsApp number of my user. So I'm going to map this. Now here for giving the phone number, we need to make sure that our phone number is in these formats and we are using our country code with the plus sign. Now I have filled my phone number. Now what I need to do is I need to give the customer name. So here this customer name is the variable in my template and this will change all the time as I'm going to receive a new response from Zoho form submission. So I'm going to click here. I will open the response of Zoho forms and I'm going to map the first name. I will give a space and I'm going to map the last name. So I have mapped all these detail here and I have filled all the required details. So as I map these detail, I have made these detail dynamic. So what is going to happen is that as I'm going to receive a new response from Zoho form submission, then automatically all these details that I have mapped here are going to get replaced with the new detail of the new form submission in the real time. Now what I need to do is to whether check whether I'm sending automated WhatsApp message on Zoho form submission or not, I need to click on save and send test request button. And here we can see I have received this response. So this is a positive response and this means that I have sent a message automatically on WhatsApp to my user who has filled my form. Now to check this, let me open WhatsApp first. And here on WhatsApp, we can see I have received this new message. So I'm going to open this message. And here this is my message that says, hi test user. So this was the name of the user who has filled my form. We are thrilled to welcome you to Gallup box. Thank you for choosing us. So this was the message that I had on my template in Gallup box and by using that template, I have automatically sent a WhatsApp message to my user who has submitted my Zoho form. So as I have received a registration from Zoho form and as I have received that form submission, then automatically I have sent an automated WhatsApp message by using Gallup box to that particular user. 
So here my connection between Zoho Forms and Galabox is working successfully and I have successfully created this automation for sending automated WhatsApp message using Galabox on Zoho Forms submission. So now as I'm going to receive a new form submission from Zoho Forms then automatically I can send automated WhatsApp messages using Galabox template to that form submission user. So here I have successfully created this automation and my connection between Zoho Forms and Galabox is working successfully. So I'm going to take you back to Public Connect and here in Public Connect I have created this connection between Zoho Forms and Galabox to automatically send automated WhatsApp message on Zoho Forms submission using Galabox. So let's summarize what we did here. So first I have set up my trigger and my trigger application was Zoho Forms and my trigger event was new form submitted. Then I have set up my action step and my action application was Galabox and my action event was send template text message. So this is how I have successfully created this workflow and you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that I did in my workflow and I'm also going to put the link of my workflow in the description so you can check it out from there and thank you for watching this video. Not just these applications, you can automate and integrate a lot more applications like this by using Pabli Connect. So if you want to reach out to us, then email us at support at the rate And if you have any queries, then you can write us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any issue with the pricing, then you can visit this link. And if you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.